Hi guys, Rene here. Um, today I wanted to talk you, to you uh, about uh, the flaps on the HG29 glider in Aerofly FS2. Um, until now I did not pay too much attention to the flaps on this glider, um, but I thought uh, I should right now because using the flaps correctly on this glider will give you better performance uh, on uh, for gliding and also for thermaling and uh, when landing. Um, so I dug up the manual of the HG29. It was in German. Well, I'm Dutch, so that was not too big a problem. And I searched for the correct flap settings and uh, when to use them. It turns out that the uh, that the HD29 has uh, seven different flap settings um, ranging from one to till six and a landing setting which isn't actually for normal landing but I'll come to that later. Um, I will go through the settings um, now. First of all uh, showing you the flap lever which is the black one on the left side of the cockpit. Of course, the blue one is for the spoilers and viewed outside. These are the spoilers, which are used for uh, increasing the sink rate and also decreasing speed. And these are the flap, flaps on the glider. As you can see, almost the whole uh, back part of the wing is moving. Okay, the first setting is setting 1, and this uh, setting is used for performance gliding on high, at high speeds. Um, you should use this setting for uh, gliding at high speeds, uh, exceeding speeds of 171 km an hour. Setting 2, oh sorry, it's the wrong lever. Setting 2 is for speeds. Uh, between 128 km an hour until 171 km an hour and also is for performance gliding. Setting 3 is also for just uh, for performance gliding uh, between speeds uh, exceeding 96 km an hour uh, until 128 km an hour. Setting 4 is actually your neutral setting. This is also for gliding and uh, for thermaling as well and should be used for speeds uh, between 85 km an hour till 96 km an hour. This is also the setting you could use when you do not want to be bothered by the flaps settings on this plane um, and just want to fly without using flaps. Um, putting them in neutral will give you a good performance all round. Of course not the best performance but it doesn't really matter uh, when you just want to have a nice gliding experience. Um, setting six is the uh, sorry. Setting five miscounted there. Setting five is for thermaling. This is your setting where you can um, fly the slowest um, and has to have the most lift. So you can fly very slow and very tightly in, in thermals, uh, staying closest to the core as possible, uh, um, which will give you the best um, climb ratio. Setting 6 is pretty similar to setting 5, although um, you have a little, more, a little bit more lift, but actually also a higher sink ratio, um, which means the drag is increasing, I guess. Setting 6 is not for thermaling, because you could use setting 5. Uh, setting 5 is better for that, because your uh, setting 5 has uh, less sink, uh, a smaller sink ratio than setting 6. So setting 6 is actually your uh, setting for landing the glider, for normal landings. When you want to land on an airstrip or a glider port or whatever, you use setting 6 and um, you will be fine. 
setting 7, which is the L setting for, for lens. L stands for landing, of course, but this is for extreme landing as far as I uh, seem to understand. Because, uh, as you can see in the depiction of the picture here, it also decreases, uh, increases drag, sorry, increases drag, which means um, your sync ratio uh, will go up and you also will lose speed. This means you will be able to land on shorter airstrips or, as glider pilots tend to do sometimes, land in fields when you cannot reach your uh, designated airfield anymore. This setting is for extreme landings, you can say. So, uh, usually you do not need it. You can just use setting 6. Or, if you do not want to use your flaps, just set your flaps at neutral, setting 4, and you will be fine. Outside it will look like uh, the following. This is setting 1, setting 2, setting 3, setting 4. Actually, uh, it's a positive angle uh, compared to the uh, wing, but this is your neutral setting. Setting 5 is your uh, thermaling setting, setting 6 is your landings, uh, landing setting, and then it's quite an extreme difference. Setting 7, you see the inner part of the flaps drop down and uh, drag is significantly uh, increased. So that's it about the flaps. That's it for the flaps of the ASG29. Um, I hope you uh, got something out of this. Um, oh, I can actually get even closer. Um, you got something out of this video and um, yeah, happy gliding in real life or in simulation. Bye bye for now.